what is the meaning of manometer and what is the use of that basically manometer is used to measure the pressure difference and generally there are three types of the manometer which is used in industrial applications u tube manometer incline manometer and differential manometer so let us start with the first type of the manometer which is u tube manometer you can see the sketch of the u tube manometer here as you can see it is in shape of u and that's why it is known as u tube manometer you can see in the figure this dark portion is the fluid which is known as manometric fluid and this white portion is filled with the process fluid and this two end two end of this u tube is connected in the process between which we have to measure the pressure difference fine in the middle of this u tube we have installed a scale to measure the height difference between the manometric fluid in two limb of the manometer so this is about the basic construction this u tube manometer is filled with the manometric fluid up to certain height and remaining portion is filled with process fluid what is the basic selection criteria for selecting manometric fluid manometric fluid must be immiscible with the process fluid that is our primary requirement because if it is miscible with the process fluid we cannot easily identify this height difference fine so manometric fluid is immiscible with the process fluid and this common manometric fluid which is used is mercury so see here in the figure the notations are given here this is point number 1 where the pressure is p1 this is point number 2 here at the horizontal same horizontal level we have mentioned here point number 3 here where the manometric fluid ends is point number 4 and this is point number 5 where the pressure is p2 let us assume that the density of the process fluid will be rho and density of the manometric fluid will be rho n fine so this is about the notations and about the construction of u tube manometer now i have to derive the equation which is used to calculate pressure difference in case of u tube manometer for that i have to write the pressure at these different different point at point number 1 2 3 4 and 5 so let us write the equation pressure at point 1 is p1 that we have already mentioned in the figure pressure at point number 2 that is p1 plus x plus h rho g this is x plus h rho g how i can write that see here this what is the height between point 1 and 2 x plus h and the equation for pressure head is h rho g fine so i can write that p1 plus x plus h rho g now pressure at horizontal level will be same so i can say that pressure at point 3 is equal to pressure at point 2 fine so pressure at point 3 is equal to p1 plus x plus h into rho g as point 2 and 3 are at the same horizontal level now pressure at point 4 is p1 plus x plus h rho g minus h rho mg why minus because now the direction of the fluid is changes fine see here at point number 4 the pressure at point 3 minus this much pressure head that is h rho mg why rho m because in the 
in between point 3 and 4 there is process fluid there is manometric fluid so the density is rho m so p1 plus x plus h rho g minus h rho m g and at the end pressure at point 5 is p1 plus x plus h rho g minus h rho m g minus x rho g because between point 4 and 5 there is process fluid and density of the process fluid is rho but at the same time pressure at point 5 is equal to p2 so i can equate these two equation p2 is equal to p1 plus x plus h into rho g minus h rho m g minus x rho g simplifying this whole equation you get p1 minus p2 is equal to which is delta p equal to h into bracket rho m minus rho into g so this is the basic equation which is used to calculate pressure difference in case of u tube manometer u tube manometer is generally used to measure large pressure difference and it is the simplest type of manometer so this equation is used to calculate pressure difference in case of u tube now let us see another type of manometer which is inclined manometer the basic principle is same as u tube manometer the main difference between that these two manometer you can see that the one leg of this manometer is inclined at some angle with the horizontal and generally one arm is inclined at an angle of 5 to 10 degree with the horizontal so this is the inclined tube manometer the equation is same as u tube manometer but in that case the height which is described in u tube manometer that height will be in this case of inclined manometer will be h is equal to r sin alpha because this in inclined manometer one leg of the manometer is inclined at some angle with the horizontal fine so this is some angle alpha this is the height h which you can measure with the help of this scale in the form of r so in the equation of u tube manometer we have to replace h is equal to r sin alpha so now what is the final equation of pressure difference in case of inclined manometer p1 minus p2 is equal to r sin alpha rho m minus rho into g so this is the equation to calculate pressure difference in case of inclined tube manometer fine now let us see the last type of manometer which is differential manometer differential manometer is used for the measurement of very small pressure difference and in this type of manometer we use two manometric fluid both the manometric fluid is invisible with each other as well as with the process fluid fine and both the manometric fluids having different densities as well as invisible with each other and with process fluid that is the basic criteria while we are selecting the manometric fluid let us assume that process fluid is a having density rho a manometric fluid is b and c with a density rho b and rho c say the figure here it is very similar to u tube manometer see here the white portion which you can see in the figure is the process fluid this portion which shows the fluid b is the false manometric fluid and this portion which shows the fluid c is the second manometer so based on the height we have mentioned here different point point p1 here 2 this is 3 point number 4 point number 5 where point number 5 is where the fluid c ends and fluid b starts this is point number 6 and this is point number 7 where pressure is p2 
and at point number 1 pressure is P1. Now we have to mention the height also where the fluid changes we are denoting with the different height. So this is height x, this is h dash, this is y and this is h. So in similar way to YouTube manometer, what we have done in that case? We have written the pressure at different different point. In the same way in differential manometer also we have to write the pressure at point 1 to point 7 and then equating 0.7 pressure to P2. So after doing that and simplifying that you can get this equation. So writing pressure difference between two points 1 and 7 can be obtained by writing the pressure at point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 which is given by P1 minus P2 is equal to H dash rho B minus rho A into G plus H rho C minus rho B into G. So when you write the pressure from point 1 to 7 and then simplifying it you can get to this form of equation for delta P. Delta P is equal to P1 minus P2 equal to H dash rho B minus rho A into G plus H rho C minus rho B into G. Fine. So this is all about the manometers and different types of manometer, YouTube manometer, inclined manometer and differential manometer. Now let us take one example of the manometer. See, what is the statement? A simple YouTube manometer is used across an orifice meter. The manometer is filled with mercury having specific gravity 13.6. And liquid above the mercury is carbon tetrachloride. That is carbon tetrachloride is our process width having specific gravity 1.6. Manometer reads 200 mm. That means the height of that manometer, manometric fluid in that manometer is 200 mm. That is the H value. What is the pressure difference over manometer in Newton per meter square? So in this case you have given that we are using YouTube manometer and you have to calculate pressure difference. So directly use the equation of delta P which we have derived in YouTube manometer which is delta P is equal to H rho M minus rho into G. Now let us first write down the data which is given. Here we have given that specific gravity of manometric fluid and specific gravity of process fluid. We all know that how to calculate density from the specific gravity multiplying it with density of water which is 1000 kg per meter cube. So density of manometric fluid rho m is equal to 13.6 into 1000 which is 13600 kg per meter cube and density of process fluid rho is equal to 1.6 into 1000 which is 1600 kg per meter cube. Manometer reading is given that is H value which is 200 which is equal to 0.2 meter. Now just put all this data in our delta P equation. What is delta P equation? Delta P is equal to H rho m minus rho into G. H is 0.2 rho m 13600 minus rho 1600 into G which is acceleration due to gravity and the value of that is 9.81. After calculating this you will get the answer of delta P is equal to 23544 Newton per meter square. So by this way we can calculate the pressure difference for YouTube manometer. So by this way we can calculate pressure difference. Fine. So in today's session, we have covered the topics which are manometer, types of manometer and example of that. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.